Ladies and gentlemen, Japanese versus Malians. This is Kapoch versus Jack. I'm going to put the flags here for the players. Argentinian and uh, Polish, you know, Poland, 17 and 32 seat. We are starting and with me, Mr. Dark, as a blue Kapoch in the south, Jack in the north as a red. Why Malians are better for you than Japanese, Mr. Mr. Dark? Who say they're better? Like <laughs> they're not. Picked, Jack picked Japanese pretty early. He knows something. Okay. But okay, let's let's stop trolling. Yeah. Malians Why is better have, Malians? Malians have an insane bonus since the new patch. Uh, they have uh, fifteen percent more gold from dropping off and uh, it kind of gives them insane boost if they want to play archers for example and also they have another economy bonus <clears throat> it's 15% uh, cheaper buildings and those two combined are very insane for Malians yeah they, they are pretty safe because you are having two of the main resources already discount so or discount or just free gold, right? What I don't like from Kapoch map is that that wood is kind of thin. It's not the most ideal. I don't know if you agree. And it can be harassed by archers in not so long in, in during the game. Yeah. To be honest, I like uh, Kapoch's map more because uh, he has wood line which helps him to wall and also back gold like back gold with Malians it's almost guaranteed a win okay. and wow even though uh, jack also has uh, gold at the back uh, he has slightly more open map and i have to say it would be really hard to win Malians if they have a back gold okay I'm trying to put, I'm trying to put the overlays, but uh, the overlays will see. So sometimes they uh, give me some trouble, but it's gonna be in a moment because this is very very nice for new people. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys the saves. I think now it's gonna work, or it should work. We will see Malians versus Japanese, and you see the most important bonus that we were talking right now. But as I was telling you, it's book out a little bit. Oh, I'm going to refresh my program my page because this is a, a overlay guide that we have integrated but it's connected to a browser to a website and it should be there now and this is malians versus japan as you can see the overlays remember that the dark age well they sometimes they are pushing deers not going for the lame so we have time to talk about those civilizations and about the build order mr mr dark that he has already two villages on with jack and Doing the mining camp, whoa. The, the players, by the way, has got quite a lot of time to prepare these cities, uh, Mr. Dark. Yeah, and he's placing a mining camp already. That means that he's planning some real aggression. He has only two on wood. I think it's his preparation, like you said. He probably want to go man at arms or something like this. I mean, really fast. don't take me wrong. Remember the series against Hera? Obviously, Hera won, but uh, he created some promise to the Canadian. He lost one game, and there was that Mongol game that it was quite sick gameplay by, by both players, but uh, that Hera and by Jack. And uh, Kapoch has to be careful. I don't know if he's going to make a second Lambrick. I think he should do a second Lambrick here, but for now, he has no wood. And the potential militias are coming, and the militias are going to come. But Kapoch... He's expecting this, and he's walling a little bit. He also has explored already the barrack, the Obama, like I like to say it, you know, and the militias are going to go, uh, to come very soon. You have to be careful. He's going to wall now in front of the goal. You have to be really careful with this one because this is so, some huge walls, Mr. Dark. Wow. Yeah, but this is what you have to do if you're Malians against Japanese. Just wall and you will have economy advantage. And uh, Kapoch seems like he's doing uh, archers build order and it will counter the man-at-arms 
quite well, I believe. Okay, let's see because the thing is that he's sending three, three militias. He still have no mill, which I don't know if I like that because having Japanese you probably can have already, but he want to go very aggressive build order probably. Even Archie Rings and Blastbit before the mill. Well, ooh, he has to be careful. But he's not gonna wall in time. If he's going there now, ooh. Would you would you make the man at arm? Like yeah, it's 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 a must with Japan, right? Yeah, I think it was his plan to make early man at arms with the range. And it might cost some problems to if he finds uh, the villager which is walling right now. But if yeah, he's going wrong direction. This is not very good for him already. Yeah, why he's not going around? Well, he thinks that he's fully walled already. And the scout is getting some damage. He has to be careful. Three mana times are there. Okay. Nah, he's not going to break in at all. And now the, there is an archery range already up and coming already with arches. But he has the arches too. So the timing is almost the same. But the problem is he has suspended food in three militias and also the, the Menatama upgrade does a lot of resources and right now Jack uh, is doing the mail but he's at the limit with the resources because of that and not even double attacks yeah is... the, re hmm. the resources he spent on militias Kapoch has sent to uh to economy double yeah, yeah. Double B tags already, and now he has to be careful. The archers, as you mentioned, are there. Those men at times, fast attack, but they are not like Malians that they get one extra Pierce armor. It's definitely not the same, but Kapoch now is housed. He's housed heavily. Look at Idle TC for Kapoch. What happened? Oh, oh my god. Incredible. 57 seconds, that's a lot. Very off macro here. He's doing the blast with, and now he has the three men at times still alive. But he's not achieving anything. He's not walling on the right, okay. He got six villages on berries. This is okay just to compensate and to don't be idle. Having arches at home, but he's sending two arches already to make some damage. Let's see if he's gonna be able to have some micro here with those archers. Scout and arches are coming. He has to be careful. Okay, and... Ooh. Okay, potential opponent. I forgot, I've been checking this morning all the potential matchups, guys. But I forgot who they can face, to be honest. But I think uh, Kapoch can be a guy. I don't know. If Rorimbo is listening to me, probably he's going to type on this course. So I'm going to open my second PC and see because I forgot. I mean, I have so many things on, on, on my mind right now, but uh, everything is very interesting, you know. Blasmith is going to wall completely. And uh, it's defending here. Okay. Nope. And... Uh, the arches are going with fletching already, so if he's taking this battle, the berries are very exposed, Mr. Mr. Dark. Yeah, right now Jack has to be very, very careful to not lose those archers before the fletching. Oh, but he went away. Why he's away? Why he's not there? Explain me why he sent the archers to the right position. I don't know. One Valir now, and now if he lose those archers, he's gonna be in a terrible spot because he forced him to move all the villas on berries, and now he's gonna... Have promised to keep those arches alive. He's going back because he wants to have the fletching, but he still have more numbers, Capoch. He has 35 population, Jack 32. And that's a problem for sure. He has to be careful. And uh, the five villages are going back to that position, but that's not ideal. Okay. Well, guys, Capoch can play in the decider. Oh my god. He lost the arches now. Well, he can play against Kapoch. Kapoch can play against uh, Hera, Jordan, or ACCM. Because he cannot play against Dogao. So, oh boy. Kapoch, is, if he's winning these cities, he's going to have a really hard, hard approach. Well, and Jack the same, right? Because Jack plays against Hera, so he can play against the other players, except Hera again. Crazy. Anyway, look at those archers here. Jack has still have less army. Now he's coming with more military. He's getting the hill advantage. The timing is very important. And in that situation, Kapoch has got better timing, Mr. Dark. Yeah, so far, players are a little bit messy with tiny things. Like, they both have already one minute idle TC. And 
losing some army for free, like Jack. Uh, I think they need to warm up a little bit on this game. Yeah, let's see if it's gonna happen. We have 33, 34 versus 33. You can see both with one minute, as you mentioned. And then Kepoch has a nice economy. Why? Because he used it already in the market, but... Oh! He misclick! He clicked all the villains, Jack! He clicked all the villains, as you can see! And all his economy went gone! You see it? He clicked yeah, all the villains, he moved everything. This is a total disaster! This is... I don't know if you have that activated, uh, Dark, but... I have disabled myself that to play. I cannot click all the villains. I only have the option to click all the other villains, not all. Yeah, I'm too. Because this happened and yeah, well, Kapoch, it has a huge lead right now. He's gonna go up to Castleage. Well, now Jack is doing double attacks. And uh, you can see how every day can be different. Other day he was doing an amazing job against against Hera, and now he's not playing as smooth. Obviously, he's gonna have some good kills here, but Kapoch is coming with a lot more army. Now he's gonna catch up there, and he's gonna be on the hill. So, how you can come back here? The, 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 the timing is huge advantage here for Kapoch. Yeah, but it's Marlin, so I don't yeah. think Jack will disappoint too much if he loses this. So, he has his own Malians as well, and he will just play better probably next game, and will be fine. Yeah, I mean, uh, losing against one of the best civilizations uh, right now uh, is something that you can count like, hey, well, it can be expected. This is now not the best, not the best move by, by Kapoch, losing some army that he should lose. He has the hill, okay, now he's gonna take that one, so he's fine, he's stabilized, he's still triple is behind, all right. But he's gonna be up in 50 seconds. And Jack is not even close to go up. Now he's selling everything. Sell this, the, 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 the stone, the wood, to buy some food as well. But he's still not up. Uh, I, I'm very sad to say this, but this game is over. How you can come back here? Yeah, I mean, I probably no way. Yeah, because now Dark, you cannot make a tower at home or something, so... It's complicated. Well, you don't even need a tower. Like, if you do a tower, he's just uh, miles ahead in Eco. Kapoch, I mean. So. Yeah. Uh, he's doing the university. Remember Malian's university? 80% uh, faster, ballistic. Obviously, he has no resources. He's gonna have the botkin. Now I'm gonna. Get closer. It's true that he kind of trapped himself here, which is not ideal, but he has the upgrades. I don't know if he should commit. No, nah, well, he's keeping him away from his economy, so that's nice, actually. But the wood now is gonna be so damn exposed. And with his dualistic, uh, no, no, he's gonna lose this one. I like how Jack is playing now. He's killing all the archers. He's doing a good cleanup here, actually. He's, he's doing pretty well. The problem is. The woodline now, Mr. Mr. Dark. This can be a disaster. A real disaster. Yeah, he has another one on the right side, but it will be so long to come to this woodline and probably one he down. will lose the game already. Two down. Three down. Four down. Yeah. Five down. Oh my god, Ballistic, man. It's insane. When Leo is saying, hey, he's overrated, hey, come on, man, Ballistic is insane. I mean, if you have a good micro, GG, man. GG, man. I mean, it, it was game, right? Like, what you can do from here? It, it's impossible. Yeah. Yeah, to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed that probably Devs a little bit overbuffed Malians, to be honest. You think that is too much? Yeah, these games are just... Not really fun to watch. Okay. Don't say that, Dark, man. People <laughs> is, I mean, Dark, amigo. I mean, he, we have to, you know, like... The game is amazing to watch, right, Dark? It was very fun, right? Yeah, that was the best game I've ever seen, definitely. I, I agree with you. I, I really agree with you. I mean, 
yeah, it's it's been so so aggressive, super close, not one sided. Yeah. Pretty sick, man. Really, really sick. All right, all right, all right. I mean, seriously, yes, 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 yes. Anyway, <laughs> anyway let's play a nat. To be honest, why the players are not banning those civilizations? Because the players feel good playing with them, right? Because if he's that that brutal, the way is to ban them or not. Well, I think if you feel yourself like a worse player, you kind of want to leave Malians. Just because if, for example, Kapoch uh, plays them once and wins, you can also win with them, right? Yeah. And that's easier for you as a catch-up player, let's say. Okay, good point. The problem is when, when you can pick and, uh, and it can be a mirror, you know? It can be a mirror uh, series at some point, so mm, it's tricky, no? Yeah, tricky, but mathematically it gives you more chances, I would say. Okay. Okay, let's see what it let's see what it's going to be. We are I'm playing an ad, and now they are taking their time to start. They didn't start the game yet. Hopefully, they will, and uh, they will start soon. So, yeah, uh, let's see. By the way, who is uh, the favorite for you for to this city? Should be Capot, right, uh, Dark? Yeah, Capot should be a favorite, but I believe that Jack can bring some aggression, and he picked very aggressive sieves. Maybe Capot will have a fall on his defense sometime. Okay, they are starting, and now. Oof. What civilization do you think they are they are using? When I say woof, just look at the civilization left for Capoch and, and, and Jack. So in my the, the two strongest from both uh, right now from now, in my opinion. Mm. Maybe Malians and Chinese, as you said. Yeah, it's Chinese Malians. It's Chinese Malians, and this is this is just a starting. We're going to see uh, in a moment. Uh, I mean, this is very interesting because Malians has a sick economy, but China's as well, Chinese as well. Yeah, that's true, but I I would prefer to play Malians, to be honest, because they have um, some really good timings with their market abuse, probably. They can uh, buy food with the gold, they mine faster, so I would prefer to play Malians just because they are probably more aggressive. Okay, let's see what is let's see what is going to be now. We have twenty seconds left only to start, and remember that tomorrow we have these guys: ACCM Jordan, the Viper Barls, and Winchester Nikov. All those are winner matches. All those are winner matches. The loser is not out, but it will go to Sunday to play. And that's pretty insane. Gonna be crazy. All right. And now we have Chinese and Malians. We keep going. This is game number two. And in game number two, we're going to see if Malians is that as strong as we were talking. As a blue, we have Kepoch on the left with Chinese. Jack with Malians on the right. And this map generation is... Probably one of the safest one because if you check dark, the wood lines are closer, are definitely closer than in other generation. There is some hills like a small crater that can make all those uh, well more complicated. But it's still, the wood is not that far, uh, Mr. Dark. Yeah, that's a pretty close map for King of the Desert. But yeah. I don't like that Kapoch has a forward gold. Maybe he needs to. Put a tower there or something, and he can't the really goal, put actually. It dark, look. Yeah, he's forward, man. Go, go, go. Sorry. So that means if uh, Jack uh, could put an aggressive play here, he might be in a very good situation. Okay, we're gonna see if it's gonna happen because then checking the map for Jack. He has a goal that is a little bit awkward. He's on the right, a little bit at the back, but he's on the hill close to the wood. He will have to wall 
in circles a little bit in the way I'm showing you in the stream. There's a secondary goal uh, far on the right, and then the other one on the left, also kind of forward, and no stone at the back at all. The stone is forward on the hill, and the other one super forward with two lands in front. I mean, a little bit better than map for Jack, right? But still, it's not the best map ever. Well, Byris are at the back too, so it should be okay, right? Yeah, I think it's a good map because uh, you can wall your gold pretty easily and that's all the what Malians need. Uh, by the way, look at the idle TC for Capo to with Chinese. 18 yeah, seconds what? idle is insane. It's amazing. Yeah, I wanted to point it out as well. Very good start for Capuch. Wow. I mean... Pfft. I will get this record again and check how he did it, you know, because I always get double, man. No, seriously, we saw Chinese being with 35 seconds easily. This is half the time that many, many of the pro players, like less than 20 seconds, it's pretty sick, in my opinion, you know, it's, yes, it's to amazing. Have, yes, to have sheep very close to TC, I think. Yeah. And well, since the, the map is closer generation, maybe that was also uh, the, the reason. So, can be. Anyway, four is on wood. You can see now that he's uh, pushing now the. Well, he's taking out the Rhino under the TC. And with this uptime, he can, bo he can go very quick up with China, Mr. Dark. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's and that's very solid because you expect, you expect Malians to. To go super quick up too, so if you can counter that properly, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, I like what he's doing. I mean, Kapoch, no shame on walling. He's gonna wall all the map. He see that his map is amazing for do this, and then probably scouts, or even just economy only. It can do that with China. Mm. I th I think Jack might uh, do man at arms again. So if he will do that, then. I think uh, Kapoch needs to make uh, archers behind okay. his walls. It will well, be good. Uh, Kapoch is doing the mail already. It's not walling. He's doing the loom now, Jack. He's going to go up 19 population. Many times or just two militias. I think he's going to go up now. So he's going to have to wait a little bit. He's going to wall on the map. Of course, he's using three villages to wall. But with China, you are two villages ahead. So... Actually, you are not so far behind doing those walls, right, uh, Mr. Dark? You are more or less okay. Yeah, for sure. Let's see what Jack will do now. Oh, he has no food to capoch because of all this. Now he's up. So now he's 30 seconds idle. All right, but Jack is doing two militias for now. It's walling quite a lot. Uh, still capoch, walling all the map. Let's see how he's gonna wall. He wants to avoid the archers behind the wood line. So maybe he's gonna go more greedy and wall exactly that way. And then another wall at the back. Yeah, I, I like I mean he's greedy, but just look how much wood he has suspended here. But he's China and he's wall. Yeah. So I like it. I mean I, I don't like to cast. But if he wall completely, oh man, he's coming. You need to wall now safer. Ah look how smart. He's walling here. It's still, is this a hole? Yeah, he's still walling, and now he's gonna wall at the back. This is very smart play by Capoch, Mr. Dark. Very nice. Yeah, and I think that Jack should have uh, went man at arms at this point. Three militia man at arms, and now he will just be not in time with those two militias because Capoch is already fully walled. Yeah, but he probably feel like uh, now the two militias is gonna make the RT range, or he won't. Oh, he's not late. Look at the timing of that, of that scout. Now he see it. He can see it or not? He can actually. But he's in, uh, he's in field age already. He's doing the barrack. And now what? Double attack. Would you make the? Mm, I think he should go, and wall farther. That would end at the back. That he couldn't wall. He should go now with the village and wall, since the militias are here. Because if not, the wood is kind of exposed. And this is exactly what he's doing right now. Um, well, 
he doesn't have resources to make a, an archery range because look at all the all the walls he did. So, what do you do here? Because his opponent is coming with archers and he knows. Yeah, I kind of prefer Jack's situation right now because uh, he has a lot more resources for this time already and uh, Kapach might have some trouble defending. At least he will be behind in army numbers, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's, that's his already. That is already behind. He's doing a spear, all right. He has the two militias. He's coming already with one archer, while his opponent is just building now the archer range, so it's gonna take a while, as we were talking. He has to be careful, the spear is coming, you need to micro properly, don't attack with the scout those militias, then the spear is just gonna put him away, or try it at least. Ooh, attack now. No, he's not attacking. Oh, Kapoch is even doing, no, he canceled. I thought that he was doing the horse collar, but he canceled. Why do you think he canceled? It's not needed, horse collar with China is cheaper and he has the resources, why not? Yeah, I think, honestly, it's smart for Kapoch because uh, Malians are very dangerous with their faster uh, castle age strategies and uh, by going horse collar you are being a little bit too greedy and also, don't forget, Chinese have uh, more food on their farms already so horse collar is not that really... Not priority, needed. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I forgot, you are right, that you get already more food, so... Eh, it's coming. It's a boost, but it's not a must, right? So, it's not, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's still two bullets ahead. Jack is still one second idle TC only. He's still trying to wall, but he's coming with the scouts. Arches are there. He's having the army numbers, but man, China Echo is just brutal. Look at the food he has right now. Like, seriously. The, the economy is very solid, man. Like, really, really solid. You can see the farming. He has six villages on berries. Well, now he's doing the same farms. He has done more farmers, more villages on berries as well. And uh, Chinese is sick civilization. And it looks like Kapoch is having just an amazing macro in this game. Obviously, they are not going to, to attack too much now. I mean, they have army, but seems Kapoch is just walling. Why to attack now? Keep the numbers and go castle this, right? Yeah, that's for sure. But Jack will soon build a market, I believe, and sell some resources and buy his way up as well. Yeah, they should be close. I mean, if you see that the resources are looking much smoother now for Kapoch, eh, that villain is going to be down. No, he's not. The spear is coming, but that the scout is bye-bye. Oh, want to kill it? Nah, he's greedy. Greedy boy, not gonna take it. He's gonna lose now that the scout as well. So he's gonna lose everything. Well, the spear and the scout. And now, second archery range. Okay, he's gonna go full arches, it seems, in castle age. But yeah, for the wall, doing the market now. And it's gonna go up about the same time, thanks to the Malian's economy. But Kapoch, just after this villier, no more. No more villier and go up. Right, Mr. Dark? There you go. Yeah. I like uh, Archer's choice against Malians. Oh! No buildings! Sorry, Dark! Sick on Archer oh range, God. but no Blasmid, so he can't go up! Aye, aye, aye! Well, Kapoch can't go up! No building! And now, you can see, the Malians is going fast. A few seconds! But, well, all these things matter, right? Small things yeah. matter. Okay, sorry, I interrupt you. Go, go, go. I really like uh, double range choice because uh, against Malians you can play uh, archers as well and if uh, Malians will start to overmass you then you can switch to skirms as Chinese and the upgrade is cheaper so it's also a good transition. Okay, well, let's see what's gonna happen. Ballistic or not? Or this is? Mm, I think uh, Jack is setting up for one TC and ballistics. But so far, I don't have. He will. I don't think he will have enough wood. Oh boy! 
Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting second series as well. Now, almost 4,000 viewers one more time in a weekday. When I know that many of you are working, maybe you are even working right now and you're still watching, don't tell to the boss. I'm not gonna tell to anyone, guys. Don't worry. Thank you so much for joining. Hopefully you are enjoying a lot and getting a lot of messages that you guys are having a lot of fun, that the hype is incredible and we're still all in the group stage. And I don't know, man, how many people is here from South America or for America that I know that now is much earlier than here. I believe that a lot of people in the chat is there because the rest obviously are a lot from Europe. Come on, spam in the chat. Who is from Las Americas? Who is from Las Americas? Let's go. A lot of people here, Sean and everyone. Let's go, man. It's calling for you. Some Christian holiday. I like it. Yes, a lot of people. So... Vamos, because I'm sure that you are so hyped with uh, Kapoch, Chinese civilization, and doing already the extra TC, but man, Dark, Siege War Shop, he's going forward, he's going aggressive, no, no, Ballistic going aggro, but look at Kapoch with the counter sneaky attack, amazing, one player down, two down, three down, whoa, three billions down here, even without Ballistic, amazing counter attack by Kapoch, five bullets ahead, now Jack is going with the Mangodal, but the timing, the momentum is for Kapoch now, Mr. Dark. Yeah, that was a sloppy from Jack, but I really like his decision to put a Siege Workshop forward. If he played a little bit better on this one, I yeah, think he but, would but be having a. But good Dark, situation. he needed he needed to have houses at home here because right now he's getting inside and he's killing all the villains he's gonna lose a lot he killed already nine villains and capoch playing really aggressive now with less army but look at the villains number it's over i mean it's impossible now for for him capoch is using his experience and doing a domination versus the police player with now 14 villains difference mr dark sick play by capoch here yeah, but I think Jack could have placed those houses earlier, then he wouldn't yeah. lose these wheels. Of course. He would be fine. Yeah, but that's the problem. He didn't. And now he lost 12 villages in 21 minutes. 12 villages. He's also with two TCs, while Jack only one. And the problem is that Siege War Shop forward is nice. But if you have this kind of counter attacks, how do you defend? You have no way to defend. And this is exactly why he is now in a terrible position. Yeah, for sure. He might uh, do some comebacks with uh, his mangonels. Like, if he will start to push Kapoch heavily right now. Remember that Kapoch has all gold at forward, at front. So, okay. Jack might still do this, to be honest. No, well, he's coming again, he's coming again. I think, I think he's not gonna be able to do anything because even if he got more army, he's 32 bullets. You know, he's getting raided big time. He's coming again with the cross, but he still have more army. But in the meanwhile, Kapoch, he has the third tone sent. He has a mangrove here, the crossbows. So he has the tools to defend at home. Now, he doesn't have ballistic, but he's trying to out micro him here. He's doing a good job. He's playing really well, not only with the sneak. Look at now with all those arches. Kapoch increasing his gameplay all the day. And I have talked with him. He couldn't believe that he lost some of the games against Dogao. I couldn't believe either. Now the heal advantage here. You need to micro against those arches. He's trying to do the job. And look at now the numbers. 9-12. He also killed some at home. And with 20 bullets more. I mean, if you clean this, you need to make now a massacre on your opponent to come back here, Mr. Dark. Yeah, I think the best way is just to spam mangonels and try to get a good shot and maybe you will have lots of mangonels, destroy the base and something like this. Yeah, but the problem is that he has uh, 3 villages on gold, 24 on wood, 8 on foot. He has only 23 villages more, only 23 villages more and now it's the same army for both. He has killed 13 villages, so... I don't know, I mean, soon he's able to spam knights, for example, make a stable, you got a huge economy lead, you go full knights as well, and then he can't do anything here. I don't know. Yeah, it's most impossible. likely. Yeah, it's, 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 ooh, okay, he didn't kill here. 
He has still the heal advantage, and we'll go to his point of view for a war. Hmm. Well, I mean, one bad move. It's impossible to come back. He's doing the university. He wants to go ballistic because he knows that he has to go all in from here. There's not a lot of farming from Kapoch, but having the siege probably is an oath, Mr. Dark. Yeah, I don't really like ballistics. I think it could be one more mangonel, it would be better. Because you don't really have to fight right now. Yeah, he has another mangonel now. And ballistic on the way. It's gonna be very quick. But he's doing also ballistic apology. It's cheaper upgrade, remember? He's doing the university, Russian university with seven villages because he knows that his opponent is gonna try to go all in. So he doesn't want to to throw this advantage, right? And he can see the mangroves coming. All right. He's gonna go and take the hill here and one for one. No, even if he killed it, man, it's impossible. I mean, if you are still losing those, it's, it's just impossible. Now he's splitting those units properly. Almost the same army. Remember guys that this is decided games. It's elimination match, like who is losing is out. So today there's no margin to, to have an error. And Kapoz definitely don't want to miss the run of 16. He's gonna have a, 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 a rough path, even if he's winning. But Kapoz has been there more than one time. And Kapoz is a dangerous opponent, Mr. Dark. He can beat any anyone in a good day. Yeah, for sure. But I think um, Jack might be a little bit nervous today or something. He does some mistakes, which I usually don't see from him, like on other games. Okay. Well, it's a big stage, you know, and 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 you are in a position that, and if you don't have the pressure, you want to do it well. You want to, and also you want to try to qualify for sure. Why not, right? Like you are here already. L -l -l Let's go. Let's do it. All right. And now he's coming again. I think that gold is gonna be destroyed right now. Yeah. Look at the archers coming. He is still going. To, ooh. Got the hill here on the left also. Mangonel down. No, it didn't. And it is not gonna lose it. But it's coming with three mangoes. This can be crazy by the boom. This can be crazy by the boom. This can be crazy by the boom. Oh my god, almost killing half of those. He moved it in the last second, but this can be terrible now. It really can be terrible. He's gonna take it. No, still not killing. Now he's gonna lose that mangrove. Three mangoes and archers. The problem is, look at the gold miners here with so many archers. He's counter-attack at the same time. Now he's killing the mangoes too but the, the, the trade here benefits Kapoz because he has a huge echo lead with Dark. Yeah, that's for sure. His game. GG, man. His game. He's yeah. completely game and here Kapoz has dominated big time. Higher APM for Jack, but doesn't matter. Well, the first attack when he was not housed there and break in, it was really brutal. How do you come back from there? Yeah, I really think that uh, Jack messed up this tiny little moment. He should have placed houses a little bit earlier and he would be fine. And yeah. also making a good decision behind it, going for a forward siege with a really exposed gold of Kapoch, But Yeah, but his goal, his goal was also very exposed. So that's the problem too here, right? That's yeah. the real problem. So, oh boy. Oh, really, boy. Anyway... Uh, there, are, as you can see, is a little bit FK, so we can uh, play an ad, so we don't have ads, amigos, in the middle of a game. Let me just uh, do it here. I don't know if I can find this button. Yes, there you go. Okay. It is going to be back in a moment, and... Uh, well... Ay, ay, ay. Mr. Dark. What do you think it makes this game so special and also so complicated at the same time for people to get into the to reach that top 10 that it seems that there is some kind of players that are always there and it's so hard to get a spot there i think mainly because uh, the k the game is already like 20 years old and uh, people need to have a lot of experience in this game to get good because Pretty much, pretty much everything uh, decides on experience here. And I think that's why it's pretty hard to get it. Just because okay. you...
kind of have to play lots of games to be good. I want to ask you, a, a, a player uh, with, uh, from your generation that you are 18 years old, what does bring you to, to the game, actually? How did you discover the game? Because when they made the, the game, you know, you were not even a, you know, you, you, you were not even born, you know, not even a project, maybe. So, you know, people with your age doesn't really play Age of Empires uh, in general, you know? How do you discover the game and make, and make well, it play it? I discovered it from my parents. They were actually playing some uh, older games and uh, I also tried it. Don't say older game, you make me feel bad, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. Uh, so, uh, why I play it? Because uh, I didn't really like uh, some shooter stuff. I, I'm more of a thinker, like strategist. Okay. And less uh, micro and mechanics stuff. I really don't like uh, when the game is all about mechanics and uh, some skills like this. I really like to think and strategize, and it's it is what enjoys me the most. And you 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 go to your friends that are your age, and you tell about the game, and they gonna tell you, eh, come play League of Legends. What are you doing? They tell you something like this or what? Mm, they know that you really play have, this game. I don't really have a lot of friends to be honest. What? <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, seriously, don't tell me that. I I, I I'm gonna. Oh man, oh man! Well, you 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 don't have time with the studies, professional dancer yeah, yeah. playing all the time. How are you gonna have many 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 friends? You you are all the time busy. It's impossible. Yeah, that's the thing. Like they are asking me to go to the disco club, and I say like mm, I have a training, or I don't I don't want to mess my sleep or something like Dark. this. I'm gonna give you a small advice. You only have 18 years old one time. You know? Yeah. Enjoy. It's good to be training, to be responsible, to be professional. N find a Scarlet in the disco, okay? Scarlet in the disco. Ladies and gentlemen, game, <laughs> game number three. Kapot Mayans, Jack Lithuanians, you know? And uh, I don't know, guys, if you agree. With 18 years old, we have to enjoy life a little bit, you know? It's good to be pro, it's good to study, it's good to go, but a uh, balance. We need to have a balance and we have to enjoy life, guys. Really, we have to enjoy life, seriously. It's uh, obviously the, 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 the... Yeah, I know, but, but I know what you mean, uh, Dark. I'm not telling that you don't enjoy, but you know what I mean, you know? That we have to do a lot of things. Anyway, um, Lithuanians and Mayans. Always Mayans better, right? Even if Lithuanians can be strong. Yeah, we have seen this matchup today before already. Yeah. And uh, it's probably the same. Uh, let's analyze the maps, maybe. Jack has pretty nice gold at the back, and I really like his map, to be honest. Very decent map. For Jack? Yeah. Mm, okay, but... Oof, but Capoche is coming. And uh, the two Rhinos are forward. And if he finds the Rhino, he's going to go lame. It's true that the lame against Lithuanians is not the end of the world. But it still is a problem, you know. It still is a, it, it's a problem. And then we have also the percentage again. Because we saw before you said Mayans Lithuanians, right? So you remember that Mayans win to Lithuanians 100%. They win all the time. Oh. All the time, That's man. That's interesting. I didn't all expect the time, that. man. Well, I, I think Lithuanians for me are a little bit overrated, you know? Obviously, it's my opinion. I'm not a pro, but uh, according to my experience and how I see the games being played, I don't think that Lithuanians achieve that much, you know? You can go fast, but you can see how you can go nowadays fast with almost any civilization, with two, three villages on wood. You go up with 18, 19 population with most of the saves. Yeah, I agree with you. I... Honestly, think that Lithuanians are a little bit overrated, as you said. Okay. 
He's still there with the eagle. Do, do you think he should commit and take the, the rhino? Because he can see it. If he now try to lame it, the scout is very close. He's going to make it. Uh, he's going to try to avoid that he's pushing the deers. Well, it's another kind of lame, right? Yeah, that's good. And he don't want to risk it. Okay. Uh, this is Mayans and Lithuanians. Let's go for the overlays, guys. So we see both civilizations. Mm. All right, he needs to go back. And uh, very nice here. He denied a little bit, but not too much. So for now, nothing out of the of the box happened. Both going standard, and Kepoch is starting to wall, Mister Mister Dark. Is he a waller boy, like you say that in the previous series, uh, like uh, with Andy? This is a waller boy or not? Yeah, Kepoch is probably a waller boy as well. If he feels that his uh, matchup is favorite. Oh my God. He's doing oh this. My, okay, this is not a question. He's definitely a, 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 a water boy, man. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he feels that with Mayans, like with Chinese, if you are fully wall, you have a massive advantage. And probably he's right. No? Yeah, yeah. And also walls are cheaper for Mayans. Yeah, good point. Ima imagine the most boring thief in the game with walls costing... No resources. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it will be insane. Do you like uh, the suggestion from from Tatot? From Tatito? Do you know the suggestion? I don't know if you saw the video. If not, I can tell you. Uh, tell me, please. Uh, houses cost double and get the um, 10 population. Like like houses like Incas, but cost double. You know? And oh, obviously, same uh, HP. That's a great change, to be honest. And uh, it is like uh, in Age of Empires 4 right now. I, I really like it, to be honest. Yeah. Because it, it makes that it's much harder to make those massive walls, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I, I would like to see that change too, to be honest. Because people is doing houses to wall like so easily, you know? And yeah, I think it would be a bit... He was telling a bit controversial, but I like it. I would like it for sure. Anyway. Well, let's see now. We're gonna see now the... Yeah, he's gonna be walled completely. So basically, Kapoch is just walling all the map. He has the Mayans and he filled that with the Mayans. Just look, he's up 20 population. It's crazy how he walled all the map and is still able to go up. Not the same time that Jack, but pretty much. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah it kind of repeats the story of the last game, probably. Yeah, and in this situation, when the players see this, why the players never go forward? Why they never go forward with towers or something? Yeah, as I said in the previous game, uh, Jack could have went for uh, free militia, man at arms, and try to put the tower on Kapoche's gold, for example. But now he's not even planning yeah. any militias, so. Ah, Maybe. I'm sorry. Yeah, go, 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 Mr. Dark. I'm sorry, but I didn't see my daughter, guys. I didn't see my daughter since Monday because she was on on a trip. You know, her first trip with the with her friends in the college. Ay, mi vida, que te quiero. Luego hablamos, vale, mi vida. Vale. Venga, ahora luego hablamos. ¿Te la pasa muy bien? Sí. Sí, venga. Mira, mi vida, te quiero mucho. Okay, I'm sorry, guys, but. It's my daughter, man, and uh, the tournament is important, but my daughter is the most important in my life. I'm telling you, it's what it is. I'm being without seeing her on, on Monday, and you see the happiness she brings, you know? All right. Uh, I miss her so much. Uh, sorry, Dark, that I interrupt you. Let's keep going with the game now. Yeah, be careful, man, because you have, you're 25 years old only one time. I hate you now, Dark. You know? What? I mean, because you troll me, man. Now you troll me, man. You know? I, I hate you now, man. <laughs> anyway, three billions of gold. The alarm again. You see, guys? He paid off, you know? He paid off total and brutal destruction by Dark. Unbelievable. Okay. He's gonna, the comeback from Dark was real, right? He's walling completely at the back. 20 seconds. 
I cannot cast now. It's the dark. Anyway, uh, not a lot of aggression, obviously. He's fully walled. And we were talking about going forward, but they don't go forward at all. And, and, and in these situations, how you beat the Mayans, seriously? Want to see push, maybe? Yeah, it will be very hard, but I think if you survive until Imperial Age, then you can maybe go for Hand Cannoneer and Skirms. I believe it's a good combination. But again, it's very tough to survive the early imp timing. And now we are talking about macro game. I'm really scared that Jack wouldn't be in time just because of the mines. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he has good resources in the bank. But you know, Mayans are Mayans. And now he's going to send some army. If he's not walling in time, as you mentioned, it's going to be in a problem. But he wall. He's still open, actually. And the birds are exposed. So, eh, it's really against civilization like Mayans and, and, and uh, Chinese. Do you feel that you have to do something else? You know, like you have to create some chaos in the games. Otherwise, they're too powerful. Or... And if not, if you analyze your opponent, you have to ban those civilizations. Then when you see these civilizations being picked, you don't understand the bans in the dark. I don't know what you think. Yeah, I rather un don't understand the picks. Like, he could have picked the mines instead of Japanese, as we talked. And mm -hmm. now he would not end up with this trouble. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Well, we will see. We will see. You see the arches? And uh, he's coming now with those arches. Velazvit uh, has already been uh, been uh, up, few houses, and you can see how Kapoch is not doing the mistake like like Jack. He's walling with houses, not only totally the palisade, Mister Dark. Yeah, he's definitely a waller boy, as we said. Yeah, but Lithuanian transition to Castle Age is is solid, smooth. Look at the time up from Jack. He's clicking yeah. in 15 minutes. Uh, forward? Or what'd you do? Yeah, that was very smooth with by Jack. Uh, I really like how he placed those farms very early. And also he made a horse caller as well. So he definitely made an advantage because uh, of Kapach making walls. Yeah. He, he's losing now one Valir. No more, it's not the end of the world, but when you're in this situation, bring the archers at home. You, you see that your your opponent is walled, you can't really do too much. But it's still, Kapoch, it is still up. It's only a minute. And he's four villages ahead, he has more army, more presence in the map. It's true that he's doing now double stable. I think, uh, I don't know, forward is maybe too much or just mass army. I, I really don't know, you, you are the pro here. What to do here? I think... What Jack is doing right now is pretty good. He just wants to get map control with knights, probably get the relics, and also he has the stone for Tixis, which are pretty decent as Lithuanians, as they give uh, 100 food. So I'm quite liking the situation for him right now. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna clean also this archer from Kapoch. Kapoch is going to lose some army here. You can see the KD. And uh, uh, early full aggression. Or even if you don't go forward, if you have the double stable, now make a monastery. He's doing that TC at the back. Monastery forward. Take the relics. And if you do that, actually, Lithuanians can be very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay. I kind of don't like the fact that he uh, built uh, seven... Quite useless archers. Yeah. That's the only thing I don't like. Yeah, because he's not really gonna upgrade them, right? There's no yeah. crossbow, no botkin, it's seven archers that are, you say is useless. Maybe maybe you think like, well, if you have them, have fletching, if he's doing some pikes, they can be helping also with the knights. Or if you go with knights now with the archers, you can maybe avoid that he's walling, but Kapoch, it's crazy well walled and now he's going with crossbows with botkin and again it's gonna go sneaky mode activated 
trying to kill the list. Now he has no ballistic, but I have the feeling that he's gonna kill a guy in a couple of villages, uh, Mr. Dark. What do you think? I really hope that Jack will react properly right now. Let's and see. My suggestion One down, be... two down. How many villages I saved? Couple. Two down, right? Yeah. yeah man. I mean, two villages down. Siege Workshop is gonna go inside. Menstradamus in the house. Siege Workshop is already yeah. there. Two villages behind. He thinks coming with the crossbows, he should be fine, but obviously, he's a guy creating some chaos. Yeah, and Jack economy, 60% efficiency, while his opponent is on 80% efficiency, and he has the Mayans. This is the tricky thing here, Mr. Dark. Yeah, I would suggest uh, to Jack uh, to research Downwatch a little bit earlier, because he's struggling a little bit for those counterattacks. Yeah, he doesn't have Tone Watch, uh, right? He is not that he should have done earlier. He, he still doesn't have, I think, right? No, yeah. no, he doesn't have. He doesn't have. So as you can see, you barely see those units. We were talking with Hera all the day, and, and, and Tone Watch is insane, seriously. It is really, really insane. Anyway, he's coming with more crossbows again. He's probably going to clean all the crossbows, but do you think these crossbows are doing already the job or not? He's sending more, man. He's going to the woodland, look. I like a lot how Capoche is being very active with these crossbows now, Mr. Mr. Dark. Yeah, these crossbows at the bottom are very, very good. But I don't think he achieved too much with those on the top. So he will lose them now mm. without... Killing a knight, he's gonna lose now. He's gonna kill another, trying to kill as much as he can. But the woodland is now also suffering. He is still, the problem is that Capoch is already on three tone centers and is still doing army. It's also true that Jack is already on two relics. On two relics. Time to go aggressive or not? Because I see now the monastery from Capoch and Capoch is gonna lose the arches, I believe. These knights are with plus one armor, with the plus two attack, and this can be a domination. With those knights, if he's massing, well, six knights is not an oath, right? Uh, Dark, he need more. Yeah, I think uh, the game now is going to the late game because Kapoch is really, really walled and it would be very hard to push him. So I think you just uh, build knights for some map control to, to not let him put a forward castle and you just put a castle like in the middle of the map and perhaps you can win the trap war with your bomber cannons, which my hands don't have. Okay. So... Yeah, well, he... Yeah, yeah, go on. Situation is kinda even, I would say, and I really think that Jack needs to make a TCS app. Yeah, he, he, because if not, he's gonna fall behind with the economy. He's already six villages behind. Capots don't have course collar, which is definitely not great. He has course collar Jack. Knights and Scorpion, he's doing... The market. Okay, what is he planning to do here? He's just patrolling there with those knights. It's still no bloodlines. He has, uh, as I said, oh, four relics already. Make upgrades, man. Make bloodlines and plus two, and those knights are just gonna destroy. He's doing the bloodlines. Those knights are already plus four attack. He need definitely chain barred in armor too. He got the scorpions. He need to go aggro, man. His opponent is going four tone centers. He has only two. You need to push completely, but now, but now, one more time, those arches, ooh, no, 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 he's not going. He still go with the arches to kill the, 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 the village on wood. He's not going. The knights are coming, and now this is scary. This amount of yeah. knights is starting to be scary, Mr. Dark. I think Jack will clean the army on the bottom right now. So then he will be in a very decent spot. Oh my god, I love what Jack is doing. Let's go. This is the Jack we saw all the day. All all aggressive. Second siege workshop forward. 40 siege for for Kapoch. The siege workshop is on his face with that siege workshop. And remember, Mayans don't have redemption. So they are not he's not afraid that he's gonna convert the siege. So what you have to do is kill the buildings, but no! Go back when you let the knight get converted. I don't get it. Dark! This cannot happen. Yeah. But uh, oh, I think Kapoch nice. will defend 
with the castle in some time. So well, he has no stone. So this is the problem. He's taking the building here. It's super fast because he has the plus four and plus two. Those dice are amazing. He need to go with the siege. The knights are very strong. The scorpions are there. He's gonna take the crossbows. You have to be careful. Okay, if he kill the monks, he can't stop that army. He's doing the husbandry as well. He's going with the scorpion, he's gonna kill the monks. He's not killing, but about to convert Ballistic now. This is so important moment in the game. Really, really important. Yeah, this push is looking very scary actually, but I believe Jack uh, should have built his TCs a little bit earlier. So yeah. now he could have have had uh, same wheels as Kapoch. Yeah. He did the third, the third TC just now. He's coming with the with the knights. He still has the mangonel. Kapoch really needs few conversions. Otherwise, he's an old with this amount of arches. He's coming with the mangonel. He's coming with the mangonel. You have to be careful. He probably need another mangonel. He need to defend this one. This is so tricky. He got so many knights, but there is a monk also. He's trying to kill the arches. He's going to convert the knight. No. The monks are down. Now with the scorpions here trying to kill the archers. He's gonna take villains. Yes, he's killing villains. But you need to repair the mangle, which is not happening. He converted one knight and then like this you stop the puzzle. Ladies and gentlemen, as Dark was telling, he will buy in some time the castle and the castle is gonna happen. In, and when the castle is gonna be there, Dark, then the push is gonna be stopped by Kapoch. Yeah, this is why I didn't really like to go push. Because, as I said, uh, the walls are massive for Kapoch and uh, mm -hmm. you probably just have to play in the Mako game. He's doing the castle and he can see it. Why he's not going with the mangles? He needs to go to the bottom with the mangles. He needs to go with the mangles to force a doubt castle to kill a lot of villains. But for now, he's microing properly. He's coming with the two monks. Do you think that he should go in with the knights? Those knights are plus two, plus four. Go in with the knights and try to kill the monks or not? So far, he doesn't need to go with the knights because he has mangonels, but... Ooh, uh, the monks are not gonna kill a lot of villains. He's not letting him make the castle. He has to make that castle. The knights are coming, more villains are coming. But more mangonels as well. Crazy aggression for Jack. 30 villains behind. If this castle is up, it's gonna be a big, big problem. Ooh, but the crossbows now, but move. He killed most of the crossbows, half of them. The knights are coming. You need to kill the villains now. This can be the game. Jack taking the score lead. All the knights killing now everything. And ladies and gentlemen, 2 1 is gonna happen because double the army and those knights with the siege. Jack, one more time, full aggressive mode activated and taking absolutely everything. The castle is gonna be up. It is up. But where is the army from Kapoch, Mr. Mr. Dark, it's gone! Yeah, and now he doesn't have resources for Imperial Age either. So I think uh, this game is going to the Jacks. Yeah, well, 8 farmers for on goal. Uh, he still has 96 bullets, but he's now killing more and more. No army at all, just 9 archers. Um, just kill the buildings. I mean... You are in front, you can kill the archery ranges, you can kill the blast and keep you can keep going aggressive. Oh, oh look at look at Kapoch. He's sending forward 14 villages. He's gonna make a castle on on Jack Base. No, he's going for the goal. Red cannot oh, see oh. it. He's crazy. He's gonna he's gonna buy a castle there. Where he's gonna make a second castle. It's incredible that after 34 villages kill. Kapoch is still in the game. Yeah, I think I mean, uh, Kapoch realized that he needs to uh, gamble a little bit. So he sent those wheels forward. But imagine Jack will now found them and that's 14 villager lost. So. Maybe he's gonna make the castle with those villages. And honestly, Kapoch should make a castle here with those villages. I don't know. He's doing that! He's doing that castle here with those villains and he's not finding them. Oh my god. 
Memstradamus in the house, amigos. He's doing the castle here, as you can see. He's doing the castle, and with that castle, he has the gold. Those boys are not going to die anymore. And 123 population, 113. But ladies and gentlemen, Jack, the Polish player, seed 32, that put on problems here all the day. Now he's going to put on problems also, Kapoch, because with this transition to Imp, the timing, the momentum is for him. Because now... He's gonna drop a castle forward, Mr. Dark. Yeah, that's a pretty good situation for him, but I think he could have had uh, outposts around the map, so this place with the castle wouldn't happen. And yep. uh, Kapoch will not have gold, but I still think he will win this game in the next minutes, because cool. uh, Kapoch is... Yeah, Jack, because uh, okay, Kapoch okay, is... Okay. Not uh, even close to Imperial Age. Yeah, not even horse collar, as you can see. So those farms are going to run out of food uh, sooner than later, for sure. The castle is not in the best position. I mean, it's okay. I would like more on the hill, but it's still going to take the wood. He's taking the gold in the north. He's going to go trebuchet. And oh, a city that was looking 3-0. And also, this can affect both players. One, like, he's going to be thinking, uh-oh, this guy can win me. And then... Maybe Jack was like, oof, 2 zero tournament game, this is not going like other day, but now he's winning against the Mayans. That can change the series, Mr. Mr. Dark. What do you think? No, the gold miners, hopefully he react. He's going to lose now all the villains. Oh, come on, Jack, he react. Yes, not super fast, but he react. All right, losing few villains here, but now he will take the castles with the traps. And Kapoch is going to go up to Imperial now. What the hell? Sick. Yeah, okay. but this is too late. Now, the only thing Jack is need uh, needs right now is to build the university, research chemistry, and probably could even uh, overrun the opponent with cavalier plus hand Oof. cavalier or something. Yeah, man, those dice are so strong. The plus four attack with the plus two armor is not even plus four armor and he's killing a lot. Now he's gonna still kill all this. Look at these knights. They are not upgraded from Imperial and he cleaned absolutely everything. But Kapoch is on the way to Imperial as well with more villains than his opponent. He still have a castle and gold there. And remember, Mayas are Mayas. If he repairs that castle, he has to be careful. Because right now he has only 12 knights. And if he's spamming just halves, Kapoch got to be fine. Mm, that's why I said he, you need chemistry. He can hold. He need to wall now. Okay. Still missing upgrade, horse collar. The pikes are going to be there. All right. Doing a second castle. It's true that it's still four relics. It can help a lot. Now this is plus four knights. Okay. Plus four, plus four. But, well, it's still spamming pikes. You don't want to trade this way because now, eh? well, he's still killing Billis. He's still doing fine. And those pikes are only plus one. So it's not an oath, but he's still spamming pikes. Mr. Dark, look at the score. What the hell? He's close. Yeah, but still, Kapash needs uh, one and a half minutes until limp. So, yeah, I think he will lose his castles before that. Both? Eh, I think he's not gonna lose both. Like this one, yes. He's losing the one at home. It's still a minute to be in Imperial. He's gonna wall or trying to wall. He's sending more pikes. He's not letting. Oh my God! He's not letting him now repair. It's not letting him repair. Now he can't repair. The knights are inside. They're gonna raid a lot. Oh man. He's still sending the pikes. He's crazy. How Kapoch is able to keep the same population almost than his opponent. But now finally Jack has more villains than, than him. Remember, he was 30 villains behind Draft uh, Dark. 30 villains behind and now he's ahead. Jack. Yeah. And if Jack will win this game... Uh, he will have a possibility to win the set because right now all three top seeds from Kapoch are gone. Oh, so. wow. Good point, man. Really good point. Really good point. And then we need to check the draft as well, what is there. Still 132 population. Jack don't have a lot of farming. If he's doing now the halves... Ooh, but you were right. The castle in the south 
or on the right he's, he's getting killed now he's not noticing he's gonna kill the village on the stone too sending the knights he has another tc in the south but helps ooh, horse collar now how are these here he's still with a hundred eight village he's he have more army uh, but he has now no castle so you don't have traps to push to push him back yeah, and also Jack is making uh, hand cannoneers right now, so I really think yep. that the game is over right now. Yeah, it, it looks over for sure. It looks really nice, really nice for Jack. And uh, I love this game for so many reasons, but this is a perfect example why this game is amazing, uh, Dark. Everyone was thinking that this game was for Capoch. You and me too, Dark, or not. Yeah, but uh, Kapoch did one big mistake that he placed his castle too much forward. Like, if he placed yeah. it at the back, then he would finish it and don't lose lots of wheels and For just go up yeah. green. And yeah. so he has the advantage, probably. Yeah, for example, where the mining came he, that he just deleted on his main TC, right? You delete two farms and you make there, right? In between both town centers. Yeah, somewhere there. Something like this, right? Okay. Good point. Now he's gonna make another castle. Look at the castle he's doing when he doesn't have any threat. Still with the health. Population 160. He's trying to raid with the halberdiers. Okay. Two trebuchet and hand cannoneers. Uh, Kapoch is still going. Like, Kapoch is not giving up. He's a warrior, man. He's, he's the ultimate warrior, man. Seriously. What the hell? And those halves now can eat the pikes. The, 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 the knights, sorry. Because their knights is still not cavaliers. Can cannons are coming, but well, if you go halves and skirmishes, you can be okay with the Mayans here. Mm, but he also makes uh, cavaliers, so don't think so. Oh, well, but he has ten knights. It's not many. Now he's gonna do the traps. He need traps. He need the trebuchet. He's not doing them. Mayan resources last longer. Let's see, plus three halberdiers. Still, now the last relic is gonna be gone. Obviously, the army composition is better, but the longer the game goes, ooh, and a castle here on top of that hill, so he has to move those bullets or he will lose them all. Still with all the halves, he need also some brain units because the hand cannonies are there. With halves only, it's impossible, uh, Mr. Dark, or not. He's raiding mm. with halves, man. Oh my god, it's crazy. Okay. I think the later game goes, I will prefer the Lithuanian situation because he will have the fifth relic right now and also he has uh, winged hussar and his trash is really good, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. really see how Kapoch will win this game. And he has the four relics already and he can have the, the fifth, so let's see. Still doing arches, a lot of halberdiers, Melita and Ambers is still more. Uh, if you take these castles and now you have to be careful no, 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 those cavaliers are going to die against the halves. You have to be careful and don't lose those hand cannoneers. That's key. It's a must. Um, hand cannoneers are there. You need to put them on defensive position or stand ground. He's coming with the hand cannoneers, but no. What is he doing? He's losing so many units. What is he doing? He's throwing a lot of units, Mr. Dark. What's happening with, the, with Jack? Come on, man. To lose so many hand cannons, they are expensive and mines are very cheap. He's still doing the chemistry. I don't know, but that wasn't a great move here. Now the halves are not in the position. He need to put in the castle and he's doing. I like it. Kapoch, 180 population. Is he going to recover in this game? Look at the score. He is still there with the population. Arches, which at the castle is down. More half are deers. And Jack is unable to finish this game. Yeah, Jack didn't play very good in the last two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna take the trap. I don't know if he's feeling the pressure, but guys, this is why why you try, man. You keep trying a little bit, and Kapoch has 137 relics. He has no relics. He could take the relic back that he has in front. He's going with the traps, and right now he's going to least skirmishes. But I'm telling you something. If he's doing now eagles, few eagles and halves then the, those skirmishes are completely 
Nothing against the Mayan Seekers. It's true that he doesn't have El Dorado. He needs to take the Relic. Let's see if he's gonna make a Monastery, because when you're in these kind of situations, you kind of... Oh my god, losing the Bomber Cannon too. Gonna lose everything, man. It's... Capuch is winning, man. It, it's crazy, but he seems to be winning. Unbelievable, man. Really yeah. unbelievable. I don't know what happened to Jack, but... Maybe he's too nervous or something. He's still doing Cavaliers. Remember that he didn't make the plus two, which it will be plus six to the Cavaliers. He has now a few skimmers as only. And if you recover all this map control, look at the amount of gold and stone that you can use with the Mayans with 60 farmers. So yeah, he's gonna have the, the greatest skirmishes from the Lithuanians. Now recovering the gold and the stone, I prefer Mayan's army because he can also make halves. I don't know, what do you think, man? Tower shields, all right. That's the one for the skirms, not the other. The one is for, the other was for the TC range. But ladies and gentlemen, look at the score. Kapoch, in a moment that we thought that he wasn't going to win this game at all, he's coming back from the hell and, and winning. I mean, obviously with some mistakes by Jack, yes, but uh, Kapoch never gave up and keep the focus, man. You can see, oh my god, this face on the camera. This is why I love the cameras, man. Kapoch camera is the best. The best in the tournament, guys. Just look at the, the, the warrior face that he put, man. So focused and like, I'm gonna take it, man. I'm gonna take it. Come on, man. It's awesome. And I'm not joking, you know? It's a compliment. The pure passion from South America for the Argentinians. Let's go. Mr. Dark, he's winning, man. Look at the score now. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, man, it's, it's it's incredible, man. Now there's no way that he lose now the game. What the hell? It's it's, it's crazy, man. One thousand score ahead now. Two hundred population recovering all the map. He still didn't bring the relic back, and even without the relics, unable to do the job. He still have a lot of cavaliers in the queue that he could have done even paladins. But even paladins probably is not gonna save him at this point. What do you think? Mm, I think no? he needs more skirms. If he will have a lot of skirms, then probably he could stabilize the situation. Yeah, but not when the Eagles are going. Ha! And now look at the castle he's doing to protect the stone, to protect the gold. Look at this one. This is, I mean, with mistakes or some mistakes or not, this is a brutal comeback from the Argentinian. Like, seriously. Yeah, it, that's It's an incredible sure. comeback. I mean... A, a, a really incredible comeback. One of those crazy games that were used. And now he's doing the quick walls. Look at this. He's playing good now, man. He's playing on point. He's playing like the lady he is. He's doing a really good job. Doing all the job here with the halberdines, with the avalanche. Look at the trebuchet as well. Now he can or he should kill those those cavaliers. Let's see if he's going to be able. Those skirmishes are very strong. And resources now to make elite eagle warrior and El Dorado. He's doing elite eagles. Now hand card. He was missing upgrades. Not even hand card or heavy blow for Jack, who is missing a lot of upgrades too. All right. And now he's also... Man, he's also close. Like the Max style, doing barracks to raid his opponent. Incredible game, guys. Really, really incredible game. And well, next series about to happen now because, well, Jack is still 200 pop. But how do you stop this army now? Uh, dark. Well, he can still stop it if he. You think? Uh, yeah, yeah. If okay. he will uh, make lots of skirms and some hand cannoneers behind. Also, he can uh, make some bomber cannons to prevent the traps. And yeah, he's still he's for relics, fine. right? Yeah, yeah he's still he for relics. relics. Okay, he's doing a castle at home, but the halves are these are not letting him do it. He's doing the cab ramps. Still, eagles are coming. Those eagles are not handed HP. But those Eagles will deal with the skirmishers. There's so many halberdiers now. The army is much better. I'm sorry to say, but Kapoch's army is now much better. Look at the halberdiers. Yeah. Look at the Eagles. Arbalest as well. Fully upgraded. Only missing El Dorado. He's going to lose the list here. Okay. And well, 17 cavaliers in the queue and no paladins. El Dorado. 100 HP Eagles. Conscription as well. Sick. Absolutely sick. Come back. From Kapoch with 66 farmers as well. He's a dangerous player, man. This guy, this guy is a very dangerous player, uh, Dark, because he never give up, man. Don't give you time to breathe.
Yeah. Usually when I play, for example, I feel like if I can't win, like for example I have a sieve lost or something, I kinda give up or it messes it up, messes up my mentality. Like, okay. I'm starting to think like, how can I win this game? <laughs> I but, don't really have well, an option. But this is a, a good way to learn from this Kepoch game. Like, yeah. he was in a terrible position and he's still focused. He's still completely, completely thinking in the game, is still going. Now Jack is also focused because if you check, 200 population is still not not gone. But the problem is that there's Eagles now raiding. He's raiding. The castle is going to be up, yes, but now he's raiding the farmers here. He has siege rams as well. Let's see the Avalanche now, but the Eagles will, will kill those Kimsons or not. He needs to repair that castle. It's incredible. Now Jack is playing a little bit better now, but still, the longer the game goes now, I mean... Look at the resources. Even with five relics or four relics, he has no goal at all. And well, Siege Rams raiding all over with the Eagles. It's impossible now. It's really impossible. Kapoch is forcing him to drop a lot. The population is killing so many villages. Crazy game for the Argentinian. Yeah. Well, how are these? Eagles, Arboles, Trebuchet, still 66 farmers, 66 farmers is even too many for Mayans. But well, you can always sell food and get more gold. He has to kill the Bomber Cannons, he needs to kill the Trebuchet here. And it's still 200 population, 120 is a beast. JG Cole, he won the game wow. and came back from the damn hell. Oh my goodness. 3-0, Mr. Dark, you said, whoa. Because he's whoa, man. Okay. Oh. Man. Yeah, I didn't Maybe. expect that. Not you, not anyone. Not you, not anyone. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah. Let's check the economy. Let's check absolutely everything military. As you can see, 7354 economy. 10,000 resources more. 10,000 resources more for Capos. That was pretty sick. So, I don't know, man. I really don't know. With your permission, Mr. Dark, I'm going to go to, to, to have a conversation with Capochito, with Capoch. Yeah, of uh, course. Thank you, man. Okay, here we are with... Uh, here we are with Capoch. If I find the button to bring him in the camera and finally he smiled because during the games, <laughs> the focus is real, Capoch. Yeah, well, I, I lost some focus on third game, but my next two came, came back well, somehow. You lost some focus on Villiers, on TC, some, some everything and, there, right? And everything. Yeah. Third game, I, I don't know where my mind was, but I mean, I, I, I think I believe I won that, to be honest. <laughs> we will talk about that game, but uh, you are the ultimate warrior, man. You never give up. You keep the How do you keep the focus in those games? Like, you keep trying. Like, do you check the score? Do you check the whole situation? What is your mental approach there? Yeah, well, I, I was like, okay, I should lose this, but let's keep trying because the score isn't that bad. But that's it, basically. But um, it's like, at some point, I saw he was going archers, and I said, okay, it's going to be a crossbow fight, so my Mayans should win. But then he suddenly appeared with knights, and I was okay. And then I started checking the minimap and seeing no relics, okay. So I'm kind of screwed now because I forgot he was Lithuanians. <laughs> Okay, and Fook. Okay. <laughs> okay, and Fook, you know? Okay. And then, and then you check. And then and I then... said, okay, let's try, to, let's try to focus again and see what happens. Basically. And then you check your own, your own map. Okay, I don't have Billy's because he's raiding everything, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. I was like, okay, well, I, 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 I will probably lose this one, but let's see if I can come back. <laughs> anyway. First game, Malians versus Japanese. When you see the Japanese uh, and you were Malians, how did you feel about that matchup? Well, I think Malians are stronger here for sure. Like, I, I was surprised his third pick was Japanese because I don't think they are so strong to pick them so early. Um, but I, I don't know. I think Malians are just stronger and I... Like, I, I was able to mark it up really fast and get... I mean, I had ballistics with crossbows before he even got to Castle Age. And yeah. I saw that he didn't wall, like, really heavily to to prevent me from doing damage. So, 
with houses. He needed houses. He was only palace yeah, and then he, you destroy. Yeah, exactly. He needed houses. I mean, uh, I, I think he probably expected me to do this, but at the same time, he wasn't well prepared. Okay. And then when you saw that you were against us Somalians in the second one, you had in your mind, I wall completely, don't get damaged, and with China, I can still do the, uh, do the job. What is your... Yeah, well, well uh, my map was really bad, I think, because it was full of hills and really hard to defend. But I was Chinese, and they have a, a, a bit stronger economy than Malians, I think. But I, I, I don't know which CV is better right now. Both are really strong. But I, I said, let, let's try not to get any damage and see how the game goes. And basically, I was better than him, and I could I, I did a good raid on the on his gold, and and then that set me up really well to to start booming afterwards. And in the last game, we cannot even talk about the game. Like what? Yeah, well, well, game, right? I, I, I was a hundred percent focused the first two games. I don't know what happened the last game, man. But but you you but you focus again back. How you recover in that game? I mean, he, he got four relics for a long time, you know. For yeah, a I know. Really I long know. time. So and he's well, Lithuanians. Okay. I think I shouldn't should shouldn't have won that game. Like yeah, you probably, uh, you're probably not gonna lie, a bit of a throw probably from his part. You know, he should have uh, been attacked a little bit better and maybe have hand cannons earlier, a lot more hand cannons. Yeah, well, I think not, not probably not only that, but also try to control a bit more the map because I was a, yeah. still able to get goals and stuff like that, and he he needed to control the map a bit better and maybe lock me in so I couldn't go out, and then there's no way I could come back that game. I think. Okay. Now, uh, we're gonna, ch I mean, you gonna be able to face potentially three players. It's very easy, right? It can be okay. Hera, ACCM, or Jordan. Okay, well, it, it should <laughs> be easy, right? So easy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any preference for those? You cannot face Kapoch, you know? You cannot uh, face I can't Kapoch. face Dogao again. I can't you face Dogao again. Dogao, because... Sorry, you cannot face uh, Dogao. Yes, Capoche uh, either, you know, uh, but Dogao, you okay, cannot face okay. Dogao. Do you want no, the revenge? Fun. Do you want it? Yeah, revenge, because right? I, I, I think I played really, really bad that day. Uh, okay. Probably like my game three today, I guess. Okay. Well, uh, now we're going to see Hera versus Cap versus, oh my goodness, Capoche is all everywhere, versus Dogao. Hera versus <laughs> Dogao. So the winner. Uh, he is not gonna face you. You're gonna face maybe the loser, and then tomorrow ACCM versus Jordan. Any preference for for those players? Um, no, they they are they all are strong really ball. strong. Yeah, yeah. Just hope. Like, I think Hera should beat Dogao, so it's gonna be either ACCM or Jordan, I guess. Yeah. And both are very strong, so it can. It doesn't matter who I get. It's okay. gonna be hard. So we're going to keep going, Capuchito. On Sunday, you have to play one of those players. It's Sunday, not okay. Saturday, because we give a little bit more time for those that are playing lately, later this week. So it's on Sunday. And tomorrow, we're going to co-cast the Viper nice. Balls together. Yeah, and yeah. Vince That's going to be fun. Together, we're going to have fun because Capuchito is going to be co-casting tomorrow here. So two Spanglis, basically. Yeah, it's going to be uh, weird casting with you in English, man. We usually talk in Spanish, so... Uh, <laughs> well, when we have to rage, we will insult in Spanish, so it's all good, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. All okay, good. okay, okay, okay. Capuchito, okay. Okay. Eh, anything, lo que quieras decir a mucha gente que te está viendo en español, dedica las palabras y di lo que quieras en español a todos los que te apoyan. Bueno, gracias por, por bancarme, ya sé que a veces eh, la peteo un poco... Pero estoy, tra <risa> estoy tratando de, de mantener la concentración y jugar mi mejor juego. Eso es todo. Y bueno, gracias por el apoyo. Thank you everyone for, for the support. I'm trying to come back stronger in this game after the, the last couple of months that have been really bad for me. We will talk tomorrow if you want a little bit okay. in the stream about that, ¿ok? Ok, ok. okay. Good eh, luck, man. See you, take, see you man. Eh. Te queremos, te, te queremos, Capuchito. Te quiero, amigo. Un abrazo. Yo también, amigo. Un abrazo grande. Chao, chao. Take, take care. Bye-bye. This is Capuch, guys. I have a, obviously, I have a special relation with him because um, I speak Spanish with him when we meet in real life, and I like him a lot, guys. A lot.